Tom Hardy will return as the rough reporter turned alien symbiote in Venom, The Last Dance. This third Venom movie is part of Sony's larger Spider-Man universe, which focuses on villains and anti-heroes. The series starts with Ruben Fletcher's Venom in 2018, followed by Andy Serkis's Let There Be Carnage in 2021, and Daniel Espinosa's Morbius in 2022. Sony's superhero universe continues with S.J. Clarkson's Madame Web, released in February 2024. More comic book action is on the way with Aaron Taylor Johnson starring in Craven the Hunter, coming in late August. Curious about Venom, The Last Dance? Here's everything we know about the film so far. Let's get this video started. Sony's Spider-Man universe will continue with Venom, The Last Dance, which is set to follow the 2021 sequel Venom Let There Be Carnage, and the cast and plot specifics are expected to be consistent with the franchise. The SSU's Venom series features Eddie Brock, an anti-hero from Marvel Comics, and the extraterrestrial symbiote attached to his body, which sometimes takes over, giving him incredible strength and other abilities, and occasionally bites people's heads off. The last time Venom appeared on film was in Spider-Man No Way Home, which included a brief crossover with the Marvel Cinematic Universe chronologically. Following the mid-credits scene in Venom Let There Be Carnage, in which Eddie and the symbiote were transported to the MCU, Venom made a notable appearance in Spider-Man No Way Home's end credits teaser. The storyline's resolution is unclear, but Eddie and Venom are fleeing powerful enemies. As Venom The Last Dance is the final film in the SSU, the stakes are high and one or both of the duo may die. On June 3rd, Sony debuted the first and only trailer of Venom The Last Dance. While the trailer is packed with action sequences and legendary banter between Eddie Brock and Venom, it's disappointingly short on story specifics. However, the trailer establishes a war on two fronts. Covert government officials are determined to keep Venom and any other proof of extraterrestrial life on Earth hidden, while unknown forces from Venom's homeworld seek him out. The teaser also reveals that Venom The Last Dance is still scheduled for release on October 25th, 2024. Tom Hardy reprises his role as Venom, one of Marvel's finest most complicated characters, in the concluding installment of the trilogy. Eddie and Venom are on the run. Hunted by both of their worlds and with the net closing in, the two are forced to make a tragic decision that will bring the curtains down on Venom and Eddie's final dance. Tom Hardy has always been open about developing the story of Venom, The Last Dance, while Venom Let There Be Carnage was being shot, but he also has stated that no third film would be made if Venom Let There Be Carnage did not succeed. Then, in December 2021, Sony producer Amy Pascal revealed that Venom The Last Dance was in the works, but the studio's priority was at the time Spider-Man No Way Home. Fortunately for Hardy and Venom fans, Spider-Man No Way Home and Venom Let There Be Carnage were both huge successes. During the 2022 CinemaCom panel, which Screen Rant attended, Sony finally announced that Venom 3 will be part of its next schedule. The film was originally scheduled for release on July 12, 2024, but was later pushed back to November 8th and then moved up to its current and seemingly final release date on October 25th, 2024. Tom Hardy, who will appear, write, and produce Venom 3, will undoubtedly reprise his role as Eddie Brock in the film. However, little is known about the personalities that its stars would represent. The Venom The Last Dance teaser features Juno Temple and Cheatwell Age 4, who appear to be working together to research symbiotes while keeping their existence hidden from the wider public. Ageo 4, who plays the sorcerer Mordo in the MCU, is a military guy seen pursuing Eddie, and Juno, better known as Keeley on Ted Lasso, appears to operate a hidden lab where she has obtained symbiotes. Peggy Lou's Mrs. Chen, the convenience store employee, reappears after minor parts in the previous two Venom films, but Christine Fernandez's unidentified bartender is the biggest surprise. He previously appeared in Spider-Man No Way Home, playing the bartender in Mexico, when Eddie is momentarily sent to the MCU. His role in the same SSU job remains unclear. Even though there is an official trailer for Venom The Last Dance, the storyline specifics are few. However, a few things have been divulged, and more are being hinted at. First, Venom The Last Dance appears to pick up shortly after Spider-Man No Way Home. 
Eddie does not play a significant role in the Webhead's most recent live action trip, but he is briefly taken to the MCU and then returned home, leaving a small portion of the symbiote behind. The trailer appears to open with Eddie recently returning to his world and trying to get home. Beyond that, even the film's main antagonist is tough to determine. Juno Temple and Chichwell Ejiofor appear in the trailer as adversaries, experimenting with symbiotes and attempting to track Eddie down. While Ejiofor's military or paramilitary force hunts Brock, Venom declares that his world has discovered him. Viewers are aware that Venom is from another planet with others who are similar to him, and they appear to be hunting him down for unexplained reasons. Furthermore, in June 2023, Tom Hardy shared an image from the film set showing himself shouting at graffiti depicting a wolf or dog. Some have interpreted this to mean that Hardy's Eddie Brock will face Lobo Cartel, a group of werewolves in the Marvel comics. But rumors have also circulated that Venom will face the Jury, a group of super suit clad vigilantes who band together to try to bring down the symbiote. The teaser for The Last Dance does not mention werewolves, but a Jif War's military force might be a revamped version of the jury. Venom 3 may easily link back to Sony's Spider-Man universe. The Morbius mid-credits scene in which the MCU's vulture, Michael Keaton, is transferred to the SSU hints at the expanding world. The vulture's suggestion that he and Morbius, Jared Leto, joined a team is a clear reference to the Sinister Six, a group of villains that Spider-Man has frequently matched against. There is a chance that these characters will appear in Venom The Last Dance, and after Kraven the Hunter is revealed in his own film, he might be another Sinister Six member to make an appearance. Furthermore, Venom The Last Dance appears to showcase an MCU connection. Eddie Brock is taken back out of the MCU at the end of Spider-Man No Way Home, but he leaves behind a little symbiote in a Mexican bar. In the teaser of The Last Dance, Ejiofor's unknown character is seen in that bar, confining the symbiote behind glass. It's unclear how, but it appears his character has the capacity to travel across universes, or at least investigate them. More information will likely be published in the coming months. And that's all for today. If you want more information, stay tuned with us and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any details. See ya!